Spotify's CEO has hinted at the reason why Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's podcast series was cancelled, citing innovation challenges and dissatisfied subscribers. The Archetypes podcast evolved from the couple's £18 million arrangement with Spotify. The contract fell through in June despite the show receiving awards, according to the Daily Mirror. The series's goal was to investigate, dissect, and subvert the labels that attempt to hold women back. It included Meghan Markle speaking with well-known personalities such as Serena Williams, Mindy Kaling, and Paris Hilton. However, after only 12 episodes, Spotify co-founder and current CEO Daniel Ek removed it from the streaming service explaining his decision in a recent BBC interview. We believed that new innovation was required here. We believed we could come in and provide a terrific experience that both makes customers happy and opens up new opportunities for new creators. And the truth of the matter is some of it has worked, some of it hasn't. He continued, We're learning from those and we are moving on and we wish all of the ones we didn't renew with the best of success they can have going forward. Meghan and Harry agreed to present programming that uplifts and entertains audiences around the war LD when they signed the arrangement in 2020. Prior to its suspension, one source indicated Prince Harry's wish to meet not only Donald Trump, Poppy Francis, and Mark Zuckerberg, but even warlord Vladimir Putin to inquire about their childhood traumas and upbringing. Meanwhile, with the discontinuation of the show, the pair was unable to get sole copyright ownership of the archetype moniker. The main reason for the application's denial by the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office was the Likaliho out of confusion with another brand. According to the Spotify CEO Prince Harry and Meghan failed to supply the company with vital innovation and did not satisfy listeners. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's Spotify podcast did not provide the company with the creativity it desired and it did not satisfy its subscribers according to CEO Daniel Ek. The Spotify CEO stated that the company was attempting to establish itself as a global leader in podcasts and Harry and Meghan were tasked with carrying out that aim. In two and a half years the pair made 12 episodes. We thought new innovation was needed to happen here, he told the BBC. We thought we could come in and provide a great experience that both makes consumers happy and open us up new avenues for new creators. We're learning from them and moving forward, and we wish all of those we didn't renew the best of luck in the future. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's lucrative £18 million Spotify arrangement was mutually terminated last June, according to sources, since there was insufficient content created to justify the full payout. Spotify also severed its partnership with Barack and Michelle Obama's production firm last year. Archetype's 12 episodes are still available on Spotify. This isn't the first time Harry and Meghan's Spotify deal has come up. Spotify's top podcast executive Bill Simmons, Spotify's head of podcast innovation and monetization, had lambasted the couple, saying he felt embarrassed to work alongside them. What does he do? He asked on his podcast, The Bill Simmons Podcast. It's one of those situations where you're asked, what is your talent? Why are we listening to you? So you were born into a royal family and then you left. Nobody cares what you have to say about anything until you talk about the royal family and just moan about them. In June, Simmons added F. Grifters, that's the podcast they should have begun. I'll get drunk one night and tell Harry about my Zoom call. I was attempting to assist him in starting a podcast. It's one of my best stories. Despite the triumph of the Invictus Games, Harry and Meghan had a rough month in September with a n Ummer of missteps costing them. The month began with the Netflix release of Heart of Invictus Prince Harry's highly anticipated documentary created during the 2022 Invictus Games. Despite featuring interviews with sportsmen and the Duke, the release did not fare as well as the Sussex's first series, Harry and Meghan, and did not make the streamer's top 10. It included discussions about mental health as well as a veiled dig at the royal family. Meghan Markle received little attention. When Prince Harry returned to the UK a week later to attend the Wellchild Awards, he was denied a row on at Windsor Castle. Having relocated from, it has since been suggested that the king will provide Harry with a place to live in the United Kingdom so that he does not appear to beshening one of his councillors of state. The Duke was then heading to Germany to kick off the Invictus Games. 
Games. The founder stayed till the games ended a week later. Megan joined him at Invictus later in the week as the games came to an end, marking the couple's VRST major public appearance since the Gloria Awards in New York in May, where the Duchess received a Woman of Vision Award. The insider observed a major change in the couple's behavior during their stay in Germany, implying they had finally realized they no longer need.